So let's say that for whatever reason, um, you've got a column with words separated by a comma and you want to do something with all that data, um, you have two options. You can either, you know, keep track of every time avocado, for example, shows up here. Um, there it is again, there it is again. Or you can let the computer do something for you. So the first thing you want to do is, it looks like we're going lowercase here. So let's make everything lowercase. Let's do things like get rid of periods just to try and help the computer out. Okay, I'll leave some for you to do. But um, so what you want to do is find your last column and you're going to use the split function where you say split up the thing in wherever it is you're splitting, in this case C2, um, you tell it what you want to split by, which in this case is a comma, which you have to put in quotes, and um, you have to put true there um, for some reason. Then you hit enter, and here we go. It broke it up into it got rid of the commas and gave us a thing in each one. Now we can just drag that formula down and ta-da! Zoom into it there. And now we can do things. We could, if we wanted, highlight all these, move them, whoop, whoop, scroll them like a maniac. Um, oh, oh, I'm doing it again. Oh, God, everything is out of control. Okay, well, if you're as terrible as I am at moving stuff around, you might want to zoom out a little. Um, this is just one option, but this is how I would do it. Throw everything in one column. Lose me. Quit. Okay. Got rid of this column. This may as well copy and paste, apparently. Much easier. Duh. Don't think of that one. Okay, so we're. That was the one that started with hummus. Move all this crap over. Um, okay, and throw that there. Now we've got a bunch of extra stuff. Might have to clean that up later, but we can always now highlight this, insert chart. And ta-da, now we have a count of everything we've eaten. However, avocado shows up more than once. Um, one time with a space, one time without would be my guess. Um, so again, like I said, you want to clean everything up in terms of those spaces and whatnot, but still. This is a good first pass there. Um, yeah, and that is how you would split up a bunch of words separated by commas um, for making a chart for your Feltron. And now I will undo all that so Maya can redo it.